I'll be using watercolour paints in yellow ochre, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So I'm just going to mix them all up together and then using a very, very watery solution, I'm just going to add in some of the basic shapes, particularly the tonal areas, just covering everything in the same kind of grey. Just focusing here on the head area, leaving all the parts that are white, just leaving them blank without putting any paint on them. Now adding a little bit more water just to cover a greater area, I'm just going to add in a bit more of the body. To this really watery solution I'm adding a few drops of pure pigment of burnt umber and you can see how they disperse. I'm adding a little bit more yellow ochre to the mixture, particularly for the legs. To this very watery solution, I'm adding a few drops of more concentrated paint to show the tonal areas, particularly the areas of shadow, the darker areas. Just blocking in the basic shapes of the body and adding a few little details to the base layer, just adding areas of darkness and also using an ultramarine blue, I'm adding a really dark area around the tail, mixing that in with some burnt umber and some burnt sienna to make a really, really dark colour. Going back in even darker now with the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber and burnt sienna just to add some depth and the tonal values. Now using a much smaller paintbrush I'm going to denote the fur just using these little flicky kind of strokes using this little paintbrush. I'm not actually adding any paint to the paintbrush, I'm just using the existing paint which is still wet to kind of like flick the paintbrush around and to give this kind of illusion of fur. Now using the same paintbrush I'm adding the detail to the face area so just putting in the eyes now. The solution that I'm using is a lot more concentrated, the watercolour paints are less dilute, I'm just adding a little bit of the markings around the face. Using a very concentrated burnt sienna I'm adding more detail to the ears and around the face. Adding some more ultramarine blue and now using just watery solution, just blending the colours together and just adding a little bit more definition around the face and now coming back in with more concentrated paint for the nose and the mouth area. Using the small paintbrush, I'm flicking the brush in this motion to show the fur. So using a bigger paintbrush with a bit more water, I'm going back in to blend what I did before. Those brush strokes that I painted earlier were a little bit too harsh, so I'm just blending them using some water. That's the beauty of using watercolours, you can apply a layer upon layer. I'm 
coming back in with the pure ultramarine blue, I'm adding the darkest tonal values. So the, the areas that are really in shade around the tail, um, behind the neck, just on the top of the body where there's some markings. I'm blending these areas just using a watery solution. Now revisiting the yellow ochre, I'm just adding a bit more detail, then I'm going to dilute this again using some water on the paintbrush. So I'm just repeating this process of adding darker shades and a little bit of red for the tongue. I'm erasing all the pencil lines that I did before and now we're going to be doing the snow. We're leaving the area in the foreground completely white and just adding a very watery grey solution to the snow in the background. Adding the finishing touches to the face and little dots for the whiskers and the areas around the eyes. Blending all these in together using a watery solution, adding a little bit more depth using an ultramarine blue to the head area. And now, just a few little finishing touches and it's finished.